Tino with local news, Tara with entertainment, Anakin with weather, Alan D with sport, Mac with national news, and Rome with world news. Mostly sunny today, so 
you'll be fine during the day, but the evening will get cooler, so you might want to carry a light jacket if you go out in the evening. There is a 10% chance of rain, so don't worry, you don't need an umbrella. The weather tomorrow is almost similar to today. The high will be 69 degrees and the low will be 55 degrees. It's going to be mostly sunny with a cooler evening at night. The chance of rain is 10% for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So if you're thinking to go to the beach this weekend, it's going to be perfect weather. Then we'll see a little warm-up trend. And it's going to be in the mid-70s on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. On Saturday, the high will be 73 degrees and the low will be 56 degrees. On Saturday, it will be partly cloudy, but there's still a 10% chance of rain. Sunday is the warmest day of the week. The high will be 75 degrees, and the low will be 57 degrees. Being mostly sunny, it's going to be perfect beach weather for bike riding. The temperature on, on Monday are the same as on Sunday. But it will be partly cloudy instead of mostly sunny. Even though it's partly cloudy, there's a 0% chance of rain. On Tuesday, we'll start to see a drop in the temperature. The high is 69 degrees and the low is 54 degrees. It will be partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. You might want to have a jacket for school on Tuesday. Lastly, on Wednesday, the te high temperature will be 70 degrees and the low will be 53 degrees, which is the lowest temperature we will be seeing. Unlike the other days of the week, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day with zero is 1.3 billion and is sure to surpass China's in the next decade. This is why India's government is offering sterilization for free. Sterilization is the procedure of making someone unable to have kids. However, sterilization isn't always safe. So far, 14 women have died from the process, from the procedure and about 50 other women were hospitalized. After the surgery, when, the, when they were later hospitalized, they had the symptoms of trouble breathing, vomiting, and low blood, low blood pressure. About 37% of women <coughs> have undergone sterilization versus 1% of men have. Yes, it's true, men can have it too. According to the government records, 4.6 billion women, million women, were sterilized in 2011 through 2012. In other equally horrible news, a female bomber, a female suicide bomber, killed herself and three others in a college in Nigeria. A lecturer, Andrew Randa, told BBC News he saw four bodies. The explosion went off outside a packed lecture hall in the school at 12.45 p.m. on Wednesday. The reason for bombing is unknown, and nobody takes action for it. But, and this is the second suicide attack on a school this week, because on Monday, 46 boys were killed at another school. Um, nobody knows yet, but they suspect No more. So, Sarah, Nessie and Sarah 
Nelson Sound Scan announced late Tuesday that 1989 earned the largest sales in a week for an album since NMM. The NMM show sold 1.3 million units in 2002. Swift is the only artist to have three albums with more than 1 million units in its debut week. The 24-year-old this album features the smash hit Shake It Off. She will launch a world tour next year. My next story is that Disney announced that on Thursday, uh, Disney announced on Thursday that Toy Story 4 is in its works. D23, the official Disney fan club, announced on their Twitter feed that um, that the new Toy Story film will set will be set for June 2017. The film will include Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang, and will be directed by John Lasseter, who directed the first Toy Story film. The first Toy Story film was released in 1995, which was Pixar's first major hit. Toy Story 3 grossed over $1 billion world, worldwide when it released in 2010. My final story is Big Hero 6 and Interstellar Tour at Box Office. Disney's animated adventure Big Hero 6, featuring the inflatable robot Baymax and his prodigy pal Hero from the Marvel comic book, took first place in, with 56.2 million in ticket sales. Inter Interstellar took off its second place with 50 million in ticket sales. Interstellar, which cost a reported 165 million and is being Distributed by Warner Brothers, internationally dominated overseas, earning an additional 80 million. In the, if the estimates hold up this weekend, will mark the fourth time in box office history that a pair of films both open.